I thank the gentleman. Mr. Speaker, I believe in the value of work. That's one of the reasons that I voted for the 1996 welfare reform law, because I wanted to see more people move from welfare to work. Our laws need to encourage job opportunities. But in the effort that we have before us today, uh, it seems to me that this legislation as proposed is less malevolent and more irrelevant to those poor people. Because of the way that the TANF program is currently structured, only about 1% of working age adults across America who are poor uh, are participating in TANF work activities at any particular time. So this afternoon, for 99% of poor Americans who are not participating in TANF work activities, uh, this bill is not all that significant. Uh, these are people that are struggling to get up the economic ladder at about the first rung. And what happens, and whether they're waivers or they're not waivers, I think they basically just feel that we wave goodbye to their plight and are not responding to it in a constructive way. It also is important to remember that we have a higher proportion of our population living near the bottom of the economic ladder today than when welfare reform was first enacted. In 2011, about 46 million American neighbors lived in poverty, about 350,000 of those in the San Antonio area. Amidst this poverty, amidst this growing inequality in resources in our country, we have the lowest level of poor children receiving direct cash assistance from TANF in almost 50 years. In my home state of Texas, one in every 20 poor children receive TANF assistance directly, and when they get it, they don't get very much. As we look at the whole question of extending the TANF law, what we've had are short-term expansions, not a long-term reform. And each of these has provided some convenient political opportunities to reinforce the old welfare Cadillac stereotypes. They just blame the poor for being poor. A previous extension we had out here focused on whether we would prohibit poor people from withdrawing any of their TANF benefits at a strip club or a casino. Not in a reasonable restriction, but hardly going to the core issue of how to get more Americans out of poverty and into the workplace. And I don't think today's bill helps in that regard either. I believe that poverty should be viewed as a major national problem that needs resolution by us working together, not as a weapon to just score political points out of the last presidential campaign. No minute. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for one minute. I think the real poverty at stake today is the poverty of cooperation, seeking a bipartisan response to poverty, a poverty of balance that contributes to the many children and their parents who are out there who are seeing so little progress. If you evaluate the TANF program and how it's operated over the last decade and a half based upon the number of poor people who've been denied assistance, it has been a tremendous success. But if you evaluate it based on how many poor people have moved out of welfare and into the workforce, into a job with a living wage that they're still in, I think the progress has been very spotty at best. And I think the responsibility for those failures is shared broadly uh, here in Washington and in the states, uh, many of whom just used the TANF resources to replace other things they were doing in the social service area. I believe that today's attempt to restrict state authority to strengthen welfare to work initiatives uh, is uh, totally contradictory with the, what's going on right now in the budget committee Gentleman's on time block expired. granting uh, health reform assistance. You have gentleman, additional 30 seconds? Additional 30 seconds. Well, the gentleman's <laughs> recognized from Texas for 30 seconds. So, Mr. Seconds. Speaker, our goal, rather than arguing over whether the states have all the flexibility they need, ought to be how can we, for the taxpayer and for poor Americans, get more of them into the workforce, and today's bill contributes little to that process.